Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students at King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 6 in this series and is entitled Java Control Structure If and If Else Statements. Here are the formats for both if and if else statements. Inside parentheses is the condition and inside the curly braces or bracket is the statement or statements. For conditions, we need to familiarize ourselves with comparison operators and logical operators. For example, for a condition of 7 is greater than 3, the result will be true. While for a condition of 7 is less than 3, the result will be false. If we combine both using AND, TRUE and FALSE, it will result to false. But if we use OR, TRUE or FALSE will result to TRUE. Let's try to apply it using activity number 8. We will create a Java class that allows a user to input an integer and we will determine and display if it is odd or even. We only have one integer input for this activity and we will call it num. For the process, we will be using the modular division percent in Java to determine if the number is even or odd. We know that if a number is modulo divided by 2 and the result is 0, it is even. If not, then it is odd. So we are using the if statement to do that. The condition is the modulo division resulting to zero. If it is true, then it will do this statement. If it's not true, then it will do the statement after the else. We only have one output, either we display even or odd. Let's call our new project even or odd. Let's use the scanner for this activity. Import java.util.scanner. We need to declare only one variable. Type integer, that's now. Then we have to instantiate the scanner class. Let's call it input is equal to new scanner system.in. Now we can ask the user to enter an integer system.out.print. Enter an integer. We'll put that in variable num. Input that next int. Now we can use the if statement. The condition is that when you modulo divided num by 2 and the result is 0, then you should display that the number is even. Otherwise, you have to display that it is add. Okay, we have an error of up semicolon. Now we can run it. Let's try a number, 17. It is an odd number. Let's try to run it again. 18. It is an even number. For activity number 9, we will create a Java class that asks a laborer to enter the number of hours he worked for the day. His rate for the first 4 hours is $8 and $10 for the succeeding hours. We will compute his salary and display it on screen. We only have one input and that is the number of hours. We will call it HRS. So for the first four hours, if number is less than or equal to four, the salary is equal to the number of hours times eight. So that's for one, two, three, and four. But if it's more than four, like five, six, 10, 100, then the salary will be equal to 32. 32 is the basic uh, pay for, for the first four hours. And then hours minus four times 10. So less than the 4, the succeeding hours will be multiplied to $10. Our output will be the salary. Let's call our new project Laborer Salary. Finish. Let's use J option pin. So we'll import Jabox that swing that J option pin. We will declare two variables. Let's call it double. 
hours and salary. Remember that the input for J option pin is a string. So we will also declare an hours string variable. Now we can use J option pin. The result will be placed in R string. J option pin that show input dialog. Enter the number of R's served. Now we have to convert that. Remember, if it's an integer, you start with integer. Now it's double, so you start with double, capital D. And it's parse, right? Parse, double. And then the string is R string, correct? So we'll just put semicolon. Now we can do the condition. If R is less than or equal to 4, then salary is equal to R times 8. Else, salary is equal to 32, that's 8 times 4, plus Rs minus 4 times 10. Okay, now we have to display the salary using J option pane again. We'll keep the null there and you earned let's put the dollar sign plus sal then don't forget system that exit zero now we can run it let's say it's five you earn $42. Correct. Thank you for watching this video. Masalama.